Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Savvy Zone. Today we are going to take a look at uh, how to install uh, Windows 10 on M1 based uh, MacBooks uh, using uh, UTM uh, virtual machine. This is completely free, you do not have to uh, pay for it. We just need a Windows 10 uh, ARM based uh, version uh, for us to uh, get this uh, working. And uh, when it comes to uh, paid softwares in the market, currently we just have one uh, software that supports uh, M1 based MacBooks, which is parallels uh, desktop and it retails for approximately uh, 9000 INR you can uh, choose to go for that software as well if you want to run uh, Windows 10 on M1 based MacBooks. So let's take a look at how to get this uh, UTM installed and see how that works. Here is the website for uh, UTM as you can see here uh, we do have option to install uh, either Windows or even Linux uh, using the UTM uh, virtual machine. Uh, since uh, today we are going to take a look at how to install Windows 10, let's go to gallery. In gallery, you can see that there are uh, various uh, OSs that uh, you can uh, install using the UTM here. Uh, let me click uh, Windows 10. Once you get here, you can see that uh, you just need ARM based uh, Windows 10 version here. And along with that, we do need certain tools to get this uh, software working. Uh, first thing being is that you need UTM uh, software itself uh, for your Mac. So once you click on it, here is the page uh, that's going to look like and you download the UTM.DMG uh, from here. Once you're done with that, let's move on to windows for uh, arm based version so you can get this from the microsoft uh, site itself by going to windows insider uh, preview uh, downloads you need to sign into this uh, in order to get the compatible arm based uh, windows uh, 10 version so sign in and once you sign in you will get to see the download option uh, for uh, Windows 10. Moving on, we have another tool that we require to uh, get this uh, Windows working, which is a Spice Guest tool. This enables the drivers uh, to get installed uh, once you have the Windows uh, 10 uh, imported using the uh, UTM tool. So you can uh, download this by going to this page and uh, hitting on download. Once all the necessary applications uh, are downloaded, uh, start by installing the UTM uh, application. Once the UTM is installed, you can see the UTM looks uh, something like this. Uh, uh, then what you need to do is create a new virtual machine and the style to be chosen as operating system. You can give any custom name as you wish. Uh, I'm going to give as Windows 10 here and then moving on to system. Since we are going to install the ARM based uh, version here, due to the fact that 64-bit uh, uh, Windows 10 is not supported on uh, M1 Max, I have chosen ARM64 and I'm going to leave the other uh, system option as it is. When it comes to the memory, uh, my personal suggestion would be to have at least a minimum of 4 GB allocated for virtual machine to run uh, smoothly. If you have a 16 GB uh, model of uh, M1 MacBooks, it's well and good. Uh, you can dedicate uh, 8 GB of memory. So I'm going to do that since I have a 16 GB model. In case you have 8 GB uh, M1 MacBook, you can allocate 4 GB uh, accordingly. So let me choose this to 8 GB right now and then moving on to drives. So you need to import the downloaded uh, Windows 10 ARM based version here. Before you import, uh, we need to make a slight change to the format of the file that you have downloaded from Microsoft uh, site. Initially, when you download the Windows uh, 10, you would uh, get to see so this is the normal version that you would uh, get and the format would be VHDX. However, UTM suggests that there are uh, sometimes chances that your windows might be corrupted uh, even if you happen to follow the steps correctly and so UTM recommends having the image uh, changed from VHDX to QCOV2. In order to do that, what you need to do is go to terminal once you are in the terminal, 
you need to install application called as brew so you can do so by just copying from the UPM site and paste it here once you get written you will see that brew will get uh, installed on your macbook once that is done go back to the site and copy the entire line to paste on the terminal window i'm going to do that here once you paste it change uh, the path as to where this uh, file is uh, the windows 10 arm based version is located so i have done it here i have saved this file on my desktop so uh, here this is how the path is going to look like uh, for me it is going to basically change the image from vhdx to qcov2 format once you do that hit enter as soon as you hit enter what will happen is vhdx will get converted to qcov2 now i have the qcov2 version uh, converted already all i need to do is i need to import this here so I'm going to navigate and import the QCOV2 here and the interface will be NVMe. Please ensure to do this. Once you are done with this, you also need to create one more drive which is a removable drive in order to get the SPICE tool installed once you uh, enter the Windows 10. So create one more drive and the interface is USB. Moving on to other options, uh, leave everything as it is. You do not need to change anything else as of now. We are done with it and hit save. Once you save it, this is how the settings are going to look like. Now go to the bottom. You can see CD DVD option here. Click on it, browse and navigate to Spice tool that you have downloaded. I have done so. That's about it. Once all these uh, settings are set, all you need to do is just hit the play button. Here you should ideally see the initial settings or the configuration window that you usually get to see on uh, Windows uh, 10 OS. It is going to take a few minutes to configure uh, based on this uh, hardware as you can see here. So this window has uh, options such as uh, switching from uh, Windows 10 screen to your MacBook. You can uh, click on this or you can also use uh, option plus uh, control to quickly switch your cursor from one OS to another OS. You can also pause or play. You can also shut down the uh, virtual machine. You will get to see the usual configuration window as you can see here. There we go, we have Windows 10 uh, installed on the M1 MacBook. All we need to do is uh, we need to get the Spice tool installed right now. We can do that by going to uh, PC and we have the CD drive just install this once this is done you should be able to configure a display and you can change the resolution as well there you go this has been installed here one more step that we need to follow is we need to give access for windows to navigate to internal memory internal storage uh, right now we just have an allocated uh, storage for windows 10 however if you want to copy files from your mac to windows we need to give access so in order to do that shut down this virtual machine once that is done go to utm edit and go to sharing and enable directory sharing in case if you have not allowed uh, file sharing uh, on your macbook settings please do so by going to system preferences sharing and enable file sharing once you uh, check this go to options and ensure that this option is checked as well share files and folders using smb and choose your account as well i have done this in order for windows to gain access to my macbook uh, storage once we are inside the windows 10 again go to display options 
and choose your display as show only on one it's done go to my pc and you can see that you should have access to the storage there you go we have access provided here you can quickly copy files from your macbook to windows when it comes to the performance yes right now there are few bugs the cursor may not uh, function as accurately at times for a normal uh, everyday uh, usage uh, such as browsing i did not find any issues you can get 64 or 32 bit uh, version uh, windows compatible uh, software is uh, installed uh, using this uh, utm as well uh, i did not face uh, any issues uh, software such as office 365 uh, will uh, will run no issues uh, whatsoever we'll quickly try playing a video from my channel let's see uh, how the uh, streaming quality is So the quality right now is 360 Hello, once you switch to Thanks 1080p it is uh, fair enough uh, i don't see any uh, lag whatsoever and you can also see that the network uh, here uh, it says no internet but you do get to have access as well so this is uh, one more bug uh, that i have noticed when using this uh, utm so uh, please do not assume that uh, network is uh, disabled there is network uh, enabled uh, by default as soon as you get the windows installed using the uh, utm i hope this video was useful please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment with your feedback i will see you in my next video bye